this is the interaction that we'll be making in Quartz Composer. It's an interaction from the Timeline app, which is a news app, and I found this particular animation on Captivate.co. And we're just going to delete all of the patches that were there. And I'm just going to copy and paste from Sketch. So this first screen is the home screen, and then this is a placeholder that I'm using that will be used for positioning the home screen and the menu. And now I'm going to add an interaction patch, a switch patch, animation and transition. So this is a pretty common combination. And this first transition is going to be for the X position. And I don't know what happened to the window here, so I'm just going to stop and run again. Okay. And now I'm clicking it, and it's not moving because it's set to 0 and 1. So we'll just set it to 100 to see how that goes. And now we're going to go in the end value and just drag it along. But we also want a scale patch. Well, a scale transition. And we're hooking that up to the same switch. And now we see that the scale is set to like nearly 400, so that's not what we want either. We want to start it at 1 and then have it go down to a decimal value. So we'll start with 0.9 and see what that looks like. And from here we can drag it down to match the placement image. Or come pretty close. OK. And here we're just going to change the values. There's not really any bounce to the scaling on this home screen when it goes from active to inactive. And it happens really fast, so that's closer to what we want. And now we're going to add the menu, so we're just going to copy that from Sketch also. And then this is just positioning the patches, keep things organized. And I'm duplicating the X position animation and transition combination. And we'll set that on the X position of this menu layer. And that's not what, quite what we want. We want it to come off screen and then back on. And we also want to set it behind the other behind the home screen. So again, we'll have the start value off screen. That's good. And now we can disable the placement layer. And that's pretty close to interaction that we were looking for.